Okay, so here we want to prove that the limit as theta approaches zero of sine theta over theta is one. And we're gonna make use of the squeeze theorem in order to uh, make this happen and prove it. So how is this gonna work? Well, I'm gonna, I've drawn this little diagram here and we have the unit circle. And I'm gonna start by saying this. I'm gonna take a look at this little triangle here. Okay, this little triangle here. And this is the altitude of it. And um, I wanna find the area of this little triangle little red triangle and uh, the height this altitude here is just sine of theta okay just because well every point that we have is going to be basically cos theta every point on the unit circle comma sine theta right so it follows that this y value here or the altitude would be sine of theta so it follows that the area of the little red triangle will be sine theta over 2. And why is that? Because the base right, is 1. So base times height, the height is sine theta, over 2 is the area of the triangle. Great. So now, okay, let's, uh, we've We've seen this, uh, we found the area of this triangle. Now let's find the area of the sector, of this sector here. We know that the area of that little sector is a little bit bigger than the area of the triangle we just talked about. Let me just use a different color. So we know that the area of the sector is bigger. And the area of this sector right here will be just theta over 2. Okay, now we just need to do, know one more thing in order to keep going with the proof. Um, we need to know the area of the big triangle over here. And what is the area of that large blue triangle? Well, base times height divided by 2, the height is going to be tangent of theta. Okay, because this point outside here is has the height of tangent of theta. So the area of it will be tangent of theta over two. Great. But now so far we still have no, uh, no signal of sine theta over theta. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna multiply all these elements, okay, by two over the sine of theta. And, uh, so what's gonna happen here is that sine theta over two times two over sine theta, that's just gonna be one. So we're gonna get one over there. Now, two over sine theta times theta over two, we're gonna get, the twos are gonna cancel out and we're gonna get theta over sine theta. Uh, now we're getting closer to what we're looking for there. And over here we have the tangent of theta over 2, if we multiply it by 2 over sine theta, we just get tangent theta over sine theta because the 2's cancel out. And tan theta over sine theta is just 1 over cosine theta. Did I get that right? I hope so, because tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. Over sine theta, so we multiply by 1 over sine, they cancel out. So that's just 1 over cos of theta. Great. Now, um, I just want to take the reciprocal of everything. Just so that I can finally get the sine theta over theta. And when I take the reciprocal of uh, everything over here, I will just have to switch these signals, these inequalities. So I'll have 1 is greater or equal to sine theta over theta, greater than or equal to cos theta. And I guess I'll just rearrange it. I'll just write it as cos theta is, wow, that's not a theta at all, is it? Looks better. 
cos theta is smaller than or equal to sine theta over theta, smaller than or equal to 1. Now, great. Now, using the squeeze theorem, if we can prove that the limit of both these as the theta approaches 0 is 1, then the limit of sine theta over theta will also be 1. Oh, look at that. So let's, uh, let's try to figure that out. Limit as theta approaches 0 for cos theta, well, we can just plug the 0 in for theta. Cos 0 is 1. And now what is the limit as theta approaches 0 of 1? Well, of course, it's just 1, because that's just a constant function, right? Just a, just a value, so the value is um, um, 1. Great, so we know this, that the limit of theta is approaches 0, cos 1 is 1. The limit of 1 as theta approaches 0 is also 1, so we must follow that the limit as theta approaches 0 of sine theta over theta is 1 because it's in between those two. So according to the squeeze theorem, we have just proven that that is the case. Uh, most times we're just going to take this as a given, that the limit of theta as it approaches 0 of sine theta over theta is 1. You're going to most commonly see it as x though instead of theta, of course. So sine, the limit as x approaches 0 for sine x over x is equal to 1. That's it.